Hey guys, I'm going to share this video, and it's a video of a rotten day. Uh, very rotten day. Um, I'm going to share it in the hopes that it'll help other fathers out. Um, Joe and I, who never, ever cross our butt, kind of butted a little bit today and that just doesn't happen around here it just doesn't happen but we butted a little bit and uh i'm gonna go through the, log the logist that started everything you guys know we live in Colombia in south america and uh it seems like for the past four months, nothing but death has been floating in the air around here. I literally have been, you, and you guys know I have a whole host of some physical issues that I'm dealing with. I'm not a spring chicken. For the past four to six months, it's like every week get over something. And, and some other type of infections coming along. You know, terrible cold. Uh, I'm on a second bout of uh, a severe sinus infection now. So I've basically been on antibiotics for two damn months or so. Uh, on antibiotic biotic for this, that, go, uh, four months, excuse me. This thing goes away, then another thing comes, and I have to be on an antibiotic for that. And uh, there's just a lot going on with that already. So it hasn't only been affecting me, it's been affecting our German Shepherd, Rocky. That poor dog, since we've been here, has been sick. It was like clockwork every three weeks. He's got some, some issue going on uh, with his stomach and intestines. Uh, so I have no idea what the hell, kind of hell on earth is going on in this little town or city here that we live in now here in Colombia. But all I know is... It's just sick people all over the place constantly. And it don't help that these people don't know how to cover the cough or sneeze and stuff like that. They'll, and when they do cough, they'll cough in their hand and then go touch everything in sight. You know, this Achoo! is a signal to go put their hands on every single thing in the area. Even shit they have no intention of doing anything with they just go sticking their hands on stuff I like like a sick factory going on anyway so dealing with all of these issues and Joe and I banged heads over a couple of things today and uh But here's how it's got to end if you're going to be a good a good daddy to your, your boys. And that is by letting them know, point blank. I'll, I'll paraphrase it. Anybody can take this and roll with it. And if you're a father who is a real man, you'll do this. If you're a real father who is a real man who really loves your son, 
And it goes something like this. Son, I don't care how big you are. If I need to put you in your place, I'll give you one or ten of these and put you in your place, boy. And I'll do it just like that. Try me. And when you do that, Dad, you better be able to back it up. And my son is one of the most respectful young men that I've ever run across in my many decades on this earth. And he respected that. We don't have problems, but if it gets down to something, it gets down to something. Sorry, guys. Can't help it. Just sick all the time here, here lately. But I really wanted to share this with you guys because I'm not seeing fathers do these things anymore. And I know my dad, had he lived, he would have ripped my head off to this day. To this day. You know, Deontay Wilder goes, to this day, to this day. My dad would have took my head off my shoulders to this day. And I know he would have. My daddy would be 100 years old right now. And I'd still be fearing him. Make no mistakes about it. That man would say jump, I'd say how high. And that's how my son does. Even when we get in, uh, we got a little hot today. And hot to us, is, I'm sure, is not like hot to you. Uh, nothing ever escalates to that kind of level with us. It just doesn't. And it's because I command the area going on up around me. It's always been that way, and it's going to be that way till the Lord takes me out of here. It's not the other guy down the street, not the general up there on the hill. It's me. And I conduct myself accordingly, and I have for several decades here now, that into adulthood. And I just felt the need that without sharing the little crap that was going on with to share uh, how you deal with a problem if it's if you think it's starting to get out of hand uh, as a father to your son or sons plural it's a different way to deal with the young ladies uh, that's generally cutting the string there. But with your boys, it's a little different. And when I say cutting strings, I mean like cutting the first string. Or at least that's been the options that have seen, that I've, I've seen work and that have worked for me. And, uh, but for boys, it's different. And I just want to tell you dads out there, look at my boy and then look at me. And if I can stand up, command the area, and be the daddy, you can too. And there's no reason why you couldn't. Now, how are we right now? We're peachy, king, as we always are, and zero problem. And uh, that's how you get rid of a problem. And I let the problem develop a little bit during the day. And then I decided, yeah, you know what? This problem's going away for him and me. And I put it away for him and me. And that's what you got to do. You, you uh, Let me tell you fathers out there something. You live in a world that is trying to eat your son's soul. Not just his body, but his eternal soul. When it's up to you, 
not a, not a policeman down the street, not the football coach at the school, uh, none of that. Not the doctor down there at the mental health clinic. It's up to you to keep your sons in line and in check and in health. Uh, spiritually, emotionally, and uh, physically, and mentally. It's your responsibility as a dad. So step up to the plate and damn well take it. If everybody was doing what I was doing, there'd be no crime out here on the damn streets. Or it'd be so minimal that crime would be hard to unheard of. And uh, that's what we need to be addressing, not all this other crap that's going on in this world. Each daddy needs to stand up, take account of his household, and control and run it accordingly. Uh, and, and I guarantee here, if you run it biblically, you're going to have a, a better home. So I just wanted to share that advice with you. I want to tell all the dads out here, if you don't know where your son's at, you need to get to looking. If you got a broken relationship with your son, you need to get demanding and repairing. And that's what you need to do. So uh, to all you dads out there, step up to the plate. Do a better job. And if you haven't been doing your job, start doing it. All right. Blessings to everybody. That was a little bit of advice there. What I was mentioning on the sickness and stuff that's just going around here, uh, Joe and I are both in a place that Joe and I do not really want to be in. And uh, we're going to be here a good while longer. And that was a little bit of a portion of the problem. And then when you add me getting sick so much on top of it, and then the dog getting sick, seems to be affecting me and our German Shepherd more than it's affecting anybody. But it's affecting all of us. Uh, my wife has skated through 98% of this, uh, but she is Colombian, so maybe this is something in the DNA. Uh, Joe is half Colombian himself, but doesn't seem to have that DNA from her. Uh, but I'm the one that's getting sick, and it's just creating uh, me and the dog, and it those are things that just spawned and have snowballed us not feeling good around here and created the orneriness and got us a damn ornery around here that were about to snap like cobras or something. Uh, and you just got to stand up and don't let something continue to snowball effect and uh, take care of and be a daddy. If you don't know how to do that, look in the Bible. It's a good handbook. Even if you don't believe in God, it's a good handbook. Get to get to read. Uh, if you got children, trust me, it'll benefit you. Everybody have a good night, and hope everybody had a decent Monday, and hope everybody has a great week. God bless you guys.